The August primary election is just around the corner, which means for our local elections, now is the time for you to get to know the candidates and learn more about the issues affecting us in Greater West Bloomfield. That's where nonpartisan organizations like the League of Women Voters Oakland Area come into play, providing nonpartisan candidate forums throughout the season to get you ready to go to the polls in August. As explained to me by League of Women Voters Oakland Area representative and member Deborah Ross. The primary puts a lot of people that are going to be on the ballot in November. So the primary is as important. We're going to have the race for the supervisor and the trustees. And most importantly, also is the District 20 representative in the House of Representatives. It starts at 7 o'clock and it runs till 9. That's right. Three of the biggest key races on the ballot come August are going to be on the forefront in our community with the League of Women Voters Oakland area, all with candidate forums on Tuesday, July 2nd. And we'll have them for you on Civic Center TV and 89.3 Lakes FM. It's an excellent way for voters to get to know the candidates and for the candidates themselves to, in person, let people know what they think on these issues that affect us right here in our backyard. Not only those that are attending these forums as candidates, but even those that can't attend are able to participate, as explained to me by Deborah Ross. We invite all the candidates in multiple ways, and they can choose to come or not. If they can't make it, they can send in a letter talking about what they stand for. What's even better is there is no agenda but your agenda. All about the issues that matter to you right here in our backyard. That's what gets asked at these candidate forums as the basis for all the questions from local candidates come from people like you attending these forums. They know what's happening at the library. They know what's happening in their own community, in the schools. Maybe there's a recreation um, question. Maybe there's roads. Maybe there's businesses. They know what's going on in their community, and they have the right to ask those questions. If you can't attend the forums, there's even more information from the candidates about the issues available through the League of Women Voters Oakland area for free on vote 411 Dot org, providing information on critical issues on each of these races from all of the candidates so that you have an ample opportunity to get to know them. And here's a little insight on how they put all that information together. We send out a questionnaire to every candidate in the state running for anything, the dog catcher, the trustee, the water commissioner, and they send back their responses to a set group of questions. And you can find that on our site after to this election, or before this election, and then for the about big election in, in November. The website again, vote411.org. You can read those questionnaires and see all the answers from our local candidates on all of those ballots that are in our local area on this August primary election. Once again, though, those candidate forums that will be happening at the West Bloomfield Township Public Library are for three different races. The Michigan House of Representatives 20th District, the West Bloomfield Township Supervisor, and then the West Bloomfield Township Board of Trustees. Tuesday, July July 2nd at the main library in the meeting room and of course broadcast recorded and will be posted on Civic Center TV and 89.3 Lakes FM and online on civiccentertv.com.